Vegas Pro takes a different approach to nested timelines than you might be used to from other applications. It's important to understand these differences so you can make full use of the advantages they bring. You can make a nested timeline out of any or all of the events in your current timeline. When you do, your current timeline becomes the master timeline and the new timelines become nested timelines. Start a new project and add two video clips to the same track in the timeline. Arrange and edit your events however you'd like, so long as you keep them on the same track for now. Click away from the events to deselect them. To create a nested timeline, you click the Create Nested Timeline button on the Timeline toolbar. But notice that at the moment the button cannot be used. This shows that you must have at least one event selected on your timeline to create a nested timeline. Click an event to select it and notice that the button is now available. Hold the Control key and click the other event to add it to the event selection. Click the Create Nested Timeline button. Since you hadn't saved your project already, Vegas Pro prompts you to save it now. This becomes your parent timeline. Give the project a name and save the location and click the Save button. Next, Vegas Pro prompts you to save another project. And this is where the Vegas approach is so different than other systems you may have used. More than saving another timeline, you will actually save another project. This project will be nested within the parent project and you can move back and forth between them freely. Later we'll talk about the advantages this brings, but for now let's continue with creating the nested timeline. Give this project a name. Notice that the default name is prepended with the name you gave the parent project. This naming helps you see relationships between these projects as you move between them. Once you've entered a name and save location, and it's wise to use the same save location as the master timeline project, click Save. Vegas Pro switches to the new nested timeline, and you see the two events on the timeline. You can edit this nested timeline however you like, but for now, to navigate back to the main timeline, click the Open Parent Timeline button. This takes you back to the main timeline, and you see that the timeline now has only one event. The event on track 1 leads to the nested timeline that you just created. You can go back and forth between the parent and the nested timeline anytime you like. To drill back into the nested timeline and work on that timeline further, click the event to select it and then click the Open Nested Timeline button. You're back in the nested timeline and ready for editing. Trim the right edge of the second event to the left to make it shorter. Now click the Video Effects tab. From the list of effects, choose something extremely noticeable, like Swirl. Drag the default thumbnail onto the first event. Close the Video Event Effects window. These edits demonstrate that you can edit the nested timeline however you like. Click the first event and notice that it shows up swirled in the video preview window. Click the second event and notice that it's displayed normally. Click the Open Parent Timeline button to return to the master timeline. Click to place your cursor within the beginning portion of the event on track 1 and notice that you see the swirled clip you created in the nested timeline. Also notice that the event now has a loop point indicator. This is because you made the nested timeline shorter by trimming off some of the second event. Vegas Pro sees the nested timeline as it sees any other media, and as usual, if the event is longer than the media it holds, by default it loops the media back to the beginning. And that's what's happening here, too. Trim the right edge of the event until it snaps to the loop point. Start a new project, and add three clips to it, but this time make sure one of the clips is on a separate track. Now select all three events and click the Create Nested Timeline button. A dialog box pops up to warn you that what you are about to do could result in unexpected compositing and audio mixing results. Anytime you create a nested timeline from events that span across tracks, you'll be warned of the potential of compositing and audio mixing yielding unexpected results. Because Vegas Pro has such powerful compositing and audio mixing capabilities, you have to keep these things in mind when you create nested timelines. If you don't want to see this warning in the future, select the Do Not Show Again checkbox. In this simple case, there will be no compositing issues to worry about, so click Yes and name your parent and nested timelines. Notice that you are in the nested timeline where you can see all three events. Click the Open Parent Timeline button to return to the parent. The parent now has only one event. 
Click the Open Nested Timeline button to return to the nested timeline where all three of your events still exist. Now to see the advantage of this nested timeline approach, quit Vegas Pro. In Windows Explorer, navigate to the location where you saved your main and nested projects. Notice that the nested timelines you created exist as VEG project files completely separate from the parent projects. This enables you to share the nested sequences freely without sharing the master project. For instance, if you work with another editor who will handle a specific section of the overall project, for example the introduction, you can create a nested timeline for the introduction and send him the VEG file for just the introduction while you keep control of the master project and can continue working independently. There's no need for you to stop working on the master project in order for him to work on the introduction. All nested timelines can be worked on independently, and when you open the master project, it automatically updates to reflect the changes made to the individual pieces, whether you made them yourself or they were made by a colleague independently. Now open one of the master projects you created earlier. You can easily archive this project and all of its assets, including the nested timelines, for long-term storage or transport to another computer. Choose File, Export, Vegas Project Archive. In the Archive dialog box, make sure that the Include Nested Projects and Include Media checkboxes are selected. Choose a save location and click Save. 